Hey everyone, it's Abby and welcome back to the channel. For today's video, I wanted to share with you a quick set up and plan with me. Is it actually a plan with me? It is kind of a plan with me using my new Traveler's Notebook Weekly Vertical Refill. So I currently have it here on my Traveler's Notebook Regular. I feel like it's always a mouthful to say. Um, Traveler's Notebook Regular, I have it now here as part of my EDC everyday carry travel edition so if you want to see my full travel journal setup i will link it in the description down below but for this video it's going to be focused more on the new insert that i recently got so it looks like this and i decided to buy it on a whim because i wanted to migrate my current berlin travel journal to a more memory keeping kind of journal and i wanted to try out using the vertical layout for that because i used to use the vertical way way back like 2018 and i didn't like it for planning because of the um the columns are just too um narrow for me and i couldn't use it for planning purposes but i decided to ask myself and challenge myself to try it for memory keeping and so far i've been enjoying it so i definitely want to share more about that in this video also i will also let you in on how I make my cover designs. I mean, it's not really much, but I like to put a lot of nice elements into it. So yeah, this has been um, newly migrated, new member of the TN regular crew alongside um, another insert that I've yet to film, but I finished doing my, um, what's this? Germany 2022 travel journal and then i have a europe one yeah i still have to work on lots of backlogs but i do hope you enjoy this video and before we continue i wanted to um let you guys know that my patreon tiers have been updated and if you want to support this channel you can consider joining our art club on patreon it's a really great place to find fellow journaling enthusiasts people who actually do journaling and also a lot of creative people and in general, it's just a great way to know more about journaling. I'll be starting to share more educational and digital content starting this July. So I do hope you can check that out. And I would really appreciate it if you become a patron because I will shower you with all these journaling blessings and energy. And I hope you enjoyed this video. Let's get started. Hey everyone, welcome to another setup video. It's been a while since I've done this and yes, there's ice water because it's scorching hot as I'm filming this and today I'm using the Traveler's Notebook Weekly Vertical Layout. It's actually my first time using this July to December edition. I'm also taking out some of my stationery that I might be using. I think I do have some of the links available to you so I will put them down below in case you'd like to get a hold of some of the items you see on this video for this setup so it was actually a last minute decision for me to get this particular journal you can watch more about that at my mid-year journaling review video which i will link also down below i'm taking out most of the things that i need i don't really like having so much stationery on my desk because i try to limit my usage that way it's also a bit easier to get around because if you have too much stationery that's what i found out i get so overwhelmed and like i end up not decorating in a good mood because i just get stressed out and i've kept so much thickers by the way for the past few years and i almost end up never using them like this 2002 one i'm not gonna use it for this particular um, cover but I will store it somewhere safe so that I could use it in a possible tea and refill soon so this one has um, daily overview and a weekly vertical view as you can see here usually I think people use this for planning but I tried using this for planning and it never worked for me so now I'm going to be using it as a memory keeping um, journal refill because I retired my so-called travel journal in Berlin and I wanted to document all these little moments that make me feel like a tourist while I'm here because I do have my Hobonichi weeks but it's not quite there's not good enough space for 
memory keeping it's more of like a log and i put a lot of my habits there in tracking and this one is just like a fun creative journaling outlet i would say for me so i always try to keep the label so as you can see there i kept the label of the 2022 um print out i really like their layout design i'm a huge fan of traveler's factory so i like to keep that in and then i'm just adding in some stickers this flower clear floral sticker set i got this from stationery pal i really like it it's been on most of my journal covers actually because it's so easy to work around and i really like layering my stickers stationery and tapes i also cut out the layout format here from the packaging and I wanted to put it under the La Dolce Vita stickers. By the way, I have so much LDV stickers and it's not because I bought them all. It's because one of my good friends, Emily, was like, here, have all my stickers. And that was really great. I also have an unboxing video on that, which I will link down below. So I also like to add in a little bit of dots, dot stickers and like adding accents. I don't try to overdo my covers. I wouldn't say, I think it's easier to decorate a TN Passport cover. I realize now as I'm recording this because the regular one is just longer um, and it's harder to just put out a layout if you have like mostly rectangular items like this and stickers so i added the abc stickers those are from everyday explorers co i really love them for labeling and most of the sticker sheets i have don't have abc anymore so i use this like reddish orange color to match out with the brown and as you can see the weekly vertical text on the packaging and the diary text was that there yeah they're both in this similar red orange crimson color in fancy terms that's crimson so this is the final product of the cover now let's move to the inside um i won't do a setup because technically it's already set up but i like to always label my journals just in case they get lost so pro tip if you want you can even put your address but i don't like doing that so i usually write my name and some form of contact information like my email or phone number or where i'm located so usually my notebooks have this just in case we don't want to risk it getting lost but it could happen in the most unlikely circumstances so yeah i mean i'm also putting this inside my current tn pass no tn regular cover i only have one though it's it's the camel so it's always there with another insert that's either like travel related or um whatever I am currently working on. So we start with the first week. I didn't realize that it was already starting. So I was like, okay, it's time to set it up, start journaling and film this particular week because usually it starts on the 1st of July. But of course, the 1st of July is on Friday. So then it makes sense to actually start that week. So I just kept more of the packaging and also picked out some stickers that I wanted to use. I finally decided to use one of the stickers from the 2022 edition of Traveler's Notebook, this record one, the B-Sides and Rarities one. I feel like I'm this I'm in this whole like orange phase as I mentioned in the previous videos and I've been listening to different kinds of music and the whole idea of this journal why am I do I have to explain? I don't have to explain it. It's really just a way for me to sort of record little moments like this like during monday i was actually how did i get into this like i was listening to new music for some reason and i ended up in this whole like 60s to 80s rabbit hole and you can never get enough of those that era because i only listened to a handful of artists from that time like the beatles queen um elton john and everything but also there are um what did what did they listen? Simon and Garfunkel, Tears for Fears, and all these different um, artists. So I decided to jot that down. And also the La Dolce Vita um, washi tapes really worked well here because of the contrast in colors. So it has a variety of green, blues, and oranges. And I really like when things like these just mesh well together. Um, I don't really have any specific rules on how I am... Um, doing my memory keeping on here because i know some days won't be as eventful so i just try to maximize what i can and i don't really want to overthink it because too much overthinking is not really great right 
so yeah hopefully i keep this up and will update you once i get to fill in more pages but generally this is what i really intend for it to look like and of course it's still color coded so that is it for this tn weekly vertical refill plan with me and setup video what a tongue twister Thank you so much for watching and make sure to check out all the relevant links in the description. I also added some um, stationery that I've used. I believe there is also a little discount if you go to Stationery Pal. It's not sponsored for this video, but every time you go there, you can just enter my code and get a 12% discount. And we always like a good discount for good stationery. And last but not the least, um, in a few weeks, my new book, The Art of the Travel Journal, is coming out. And I'm kind of excited, no, I'm really excited about it, but I hope you are too. And if you want to pre-order or you want to know where to get your book, make sure to check the link in the description for more information about it. I do have everything on my website. Hopefully you can find all the references there and more info because they're organized by me. Thank you so much for watching. If you want to check out more journaling videos, consider checking out my channel. I have not done this like like subscribe thing in a while because I don't know I feel like it's, it's like second nature like if you really like this video you would like it right or if you want to watch more journaling videos you would click subscribe so I do hope you do that because it helps the algorithm find me and help me be available to people who might need more information about journaling and are looking for advice I'm here for you on that lastly I do have um, an art club on Instagram where you can follow us for more journaling ideas and inspiration and recently I put out this um, mid-year journal review cues because I know everyone is thinking about their mid-year journaling system and maybe doing an analysis of mid-year tekokaigi so tetrokaigi I think it's tetrokaigi anyway so if you want to do that I will link it also down below so you can check it out and maybe do some analysis some reflection, some journaling about your journaling system so that you can be more at peace because all we need in life is planner and journal piece and possibly pen piece. I'm getting way ahead of myself right now and I'm also getting really hot because all the windows are closed and so it's time to open the windows and I will see you on the next video or online or wherever you find me. Bye!